Hi, <laughs> welcome everyone to Galaxy Boy 20 Minute Chats. Uh, it should be 20 Minute Chats, Galaxy Boy, but and if you've been watching his videos, I fuck it up every time. I'm just gonna call it Galaxy Boy Chats at this point. Let's do it. Um, uh, before we start this video, make sure to like, subscribe. That's how you help out the channel and build a dope ass platform. We got another dope ass artist. Um, we've been in contact for at least a year. Um, you used to go by nothing better. Yep. But he changed his name to uh, Daniel Ricon. That's yeah. it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, put shit. the accent on the O. Accent on the O. Yes. Hell yeah! Welcome to the show, my dude. Thank you, my guy. Don't you know somebody? Anytime I go for a dap up, some some people are, like hesitate, and I'm like, oh fuck. Yeah, because you know? you're just gonna like welcome, like <laughs> showing me off to the camera. Anyway, welcome, dude. Fucking, I'm excited to you know get this on record. Like we always chit chat about music yeah. on like live and stuff. Yeah, we're overdue. Yeah, we're overdue for a fucking and for other people for context. I, I always have these lives on Instagram. Um, just promoting music and then uh, one time I was going on live and then I just started getting people on here and you know like oh and, that, and then they would send me in their their music and I would just play on the live and just we would like like it or dislike it give some criticism it was dope and nothing better or no, Daniel Ricon was yeah. on there he really did a name change so I'm stuck at getting yeah. to do all this but um, but yeah man um you know, we, we built a relationship from there, the lives, and, you know, now we're here. Now we're here. Yeah. Uh, how, how you been, man? You know, musically. Like, um, are you working on anything? Oh, well, I think I'm going to release an EP pretty soon here. Um, I think it's done. It's like four songs and then two interludes. So, like, I don't know. It's just whenever I get the, the courage up to release it. Because I have the cover and all that shit. I think I want to get some promo material going, mm. but yeah, I'm not working on anything crazy right now. I'm just, I just like the shit I've been releasing is shit I just been sitting on for like the better part of a year. So it's like might as fucking well release it, you know. Mm. It's just a, a matter of getting my courage up and shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know what you mean. Like, um, to me personally, when I'm releasing these records. Um, I have this insecurity of like, are people gonna like it? Yeah. Um, do they like this style? And are, are people gonna fuck with it? And then just seeing like pe like 10, 20 plays on your shit just makes you depressed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that's where I'm at right now. Yeah. Like, my current popularity, which is fine. I don't really care because, mm. like, views is one thing, but I mean, I don't really do it for the views. The views is just a plus, you know. I just do it because I love making music. I got fucking thousands of songs that no one's ever going to hear just for my pleasure, you know? Mm. But that 20 views does be hurting sometimes because then you get the courage up and then it's like... Yeah. Yeah. Especially like with me, um, I'll do this dope-ass cover art for my my single and then just, you know, yeah. just like trash. Um, but no, I've had anyone that comes through in here always mentions you and you know we you know jay just was just in here, just in here you know giving you a shout out and shout just, out jay back jay jay Returning it back back to you yeah tell me why bajan was in here we shouted about two again you know um he's a young goat he's a young goat bro he is hungry you know he reminds me of a, a lot of the you know when i see someone hungry like that i'm just like i just want to feed him yeah <laughs> <laughs> and especially his background like he, he seems like it comes from like a like a, a really tough background and stuff like that yeah you know, i'm pretty sure you really heard some of the stuff we, we we even got some of that on the um, recording so by the time i'm pretty sure the jg uh, interview will be out by now so link uh in the description click the channel click the channel look watch all of them watch all of them but um but no um he ended up you know shouting you out and you know what well so i'm going where i'm going with this is like you're a very individual artist mm -hmm. you don't really care what people think you have this stuff i was telling ag the other day i was like i was like um daniel daniel's music is like 10 puzzle pieces 10 different puzzle pieces and then put together like if they didn't fit he would like get scissors and <laughs> put them together i know what you mean yeah yeah, especially because um, my sound, I guess, I, whether I, I choose to describe it or not, I feel like it is quirky. Like, it's just kind of weird in terms of, like, my arrangements and the sounds I choose to, 
you know, slap on the song. It's not it's not a conscious thing. I don't try to make it weird. <laughs> like it's just how it comes out, you know. <laughs> to me it's just good music. Mm. But like <clears throat> I understand like when people say that like, oh yeah. The one thing I don't like though is when people try to compare me to Kuko and shit just because it's like, oh, my music is kind of cutesy and shit. Mm. That shit I don't like Kuko. But like everything else is cool. Like I'll take everything else like mm. with, like as a compliment. Yeah. Cuz like fuck. Like being weird is good, you know. Tyler Creator was weird. Yeah. Kanye West was weird. Fucking MF Doom was weird, you know. So, it's a good thing. Yeah, man. And you know the fact that you have the you know everyone is like, man, you know, <laughs> people see it as man, that's courageous. Yeah, <laughs> that he has the balls to drop some crazy shit. And we, me and AG and Majin were having this conversation in the barbershop. Just kind of, uh, he's like, oh man, I guess we're talking well, about people. Me? People know I exist. Yeah. <laughs> well, we were talking about, you know, talking about you and how um, um, your music can be hard to digest for certain people. Oh yeah. And you know, and some stuff digests really well. Um, do you ever plan on like sitting down and like how do you go about making music? Do you make it to make singles? Or do you plan on like? thinking of making a co- cohesive project like a real like seeing down because it's i've seen some of your stuff like you have like albums on albums on albums like yeah are, are those thought through okay so like i said i have i have hella songs that i just haven't released i feel like i've done so during covid i so to make a project i can try to conceptualize it you know like this is what i want to say this these are my thoughts and I want to try to make it like a, a overarching, not so much narrative, but like a logical sequence of feelings and mm. thoughts. Because like when I think of a concept, it's not like a narrative. It's like more of a more of an abstract thing. Mm. So that's where I, I I go and tackle my music from. I, I I don't I don't think I've ever, or maybe a couple of songs here and there, but I don't try to make a single. You know, like mm. it's always. It's always a part of something greater, you know? And as for that that uh, hard to digest comment, I figured out why sometimes my music can get a little too weird. Mm. And it's because I don't fucking pay attention to music theory, like, at all. And, like, but I try to utilize music theory too much. You know what I'm saying? Like... Like, I recently found out how to make a good bass line, and it just fucking completely transformed my music so much so <laughs> that like i don't need, i don't think i even stand by i mean i stand by like a lot of my music that i made before but like i see a lot of the flaws in it and like from now on it's going to be much more cohesive still going to be weird probably mm. cuz at the end of the day i'm still me mm. but it's going to make logical musical sense oh there you go you landed yeah. that really good yeah <laughs> thank you <laughs> no when i see you i think of you as like this guy who does follow music theory because you mess with all these instruments and mm-hmm. stuff and me I, I i'm all about you know on fl studio messing with the drum patterns and digital stuff mm-hmm. and so um what's your musical background um you know what got you into you know instruments and, and stuff like that well, I mean, I I guess I've always I fucking romanticize the idea of playing an instrument because who doesn't want to fucking play an instrument, right? Yeah, right. Like everyone has thought about it. Um, well, when I first started, I I would just fucking rap. I think I started rapping summer after eighth grade. So, uh, what was that? I was twelve, thirteen, maybe. Mm. Yeah. And I didn't get into producing till I was maybe 15 or something. And I was doing samples and drums for a while. And, I mean, I've always idolized Tyler, the creator, mm-hmm. you know? And fucking Kanye West to some degree. But the main takeaway for, for, for me was, like, they play all their own shit. Like, everything they make is errors you know they could take inspiration they can sample here and there mm. but for the most part their body of work can't be claimed by anybody else mm. like in any sort of way you know so like just the thought of coming up with something 
from your fucking soul, you know? <laughs> that's that's that just inspires me, you know? Um I still sample once in a while, but or I at least I haven't even finished my little come up ins, but uh I think I didn't even start playing the keyboard till I was like seventeen. Damn. Yeah. And how old are you currently right now? Twenty, about to be twenty one. Oh shit. Yeah. When's your birthday? October twentieth. No way. Yeah. Mine's sixteenth. No way. Hey, Four days away. Bro, let's go. Nice. Uh fuck. And whenever I just played keyboard, like I just learned what scales were. Not like how to utilize them, what chords are. So I would just like and it would just not make any sense. Mm. And it wasn't until COVID happened that I decided to like actually start applying myself to learning, like actually utilizing my instruments properly, mm. which was just a keyboard at the time. And then I would pick up the bass here and there, I, but I never really stuck to it because the bass I had was really, it wasn't good. Like the strings were very high up. So every time I even tried to practice it, like I had to like, and then my fingers like would hurt hella bad. I mean, your fingers were supposed to hurt when it started, but it was just way too much. So then <laughs> I got a good, I got a good paying job, and then I just started acting a fool. I bought a new bass, I bought a new keyboard, I bought some synthesizers, a guitar, and then like I mean, I was steadily learning keyboard, so I was just able to like apply all like the concepts I learned on keyboard to my bass. Bass, I would say, is my favorite instrument at this point right now. Mm. Guitar, so-so. Yeah. But I also use this, my synthesizers a lot. That's where I'm at musically right now. That's pretty sick. That's way more than me, dude. Like, that's what's that's what's so dope. Is Me, personally, I'm scared to take that next step or even take the time, you know, because I got my own busy life and then yeah. trying to learn something new at this point. I'm like, I mean, like, it's, like, it's, hard, it's hard to find the time to sit down and just, like, you know, in my head, I'm like, I'm thinking you're using music theory, like, and it sounds like you're not, you're, you're kind of just not. <laughs> no. no, well, I mean, I tr music theory is just, it's just a fucking rule book, bruh, and mm -hmm. rules are meant to be broken, but the thing I learned about that is you got to learn the rules in order to know what you're breaking and why you're breaking it. You know, oh. and what it means to break these specific rules. Because if you're just doing random shit like how I was, mm. then you're not, you're not doing anything crazy. You're just kind of doing some dumb stuff. You gotta learn. You gotta know the rules in order to break them. Ooh, yeah. Clip that. Clip that. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's so dope because, um, like me, Ag, we don't know how to fucking use eight oh eights, but when we kind of just play it by ear we're like you know what this kind of sounds good we're gonna and then we end up just making a banger and then we'll bring it around like our more professional friends who who, who know how to you know mess with their ways they won't even notice it you know no yeah at the end of the day if it sounds good it sounds good yeah yeah that's just n n what i just spoke about was like being nitpicky if anything you know mm -hmm. just being like super official about it but if it sounds good it sounds good that's how i operated for the better part of my musical career so it doesn't really <laughs> How yeah. long have you been doing music? Since I was 13. So, Damn. seven years. Damn, seven year group, bro. Yeah. I've been doing it for seven years, too. Nice. Sheesh. Damn. You know, it's, but... it's interesting. I, I, I feel like people, because, I mean, it's not a, it, until it's a career, it's a hobby. Mm. So, I feel like people really need a hobby because I feel like I've grown a lot as a person, like learning my like learning shit through my music you know because you, you need patience to make music you need fucking creativity you need to be inspired you need to observe the world around you in order to get inspired so i feel like that like just having the music with me enjoying music and making music throughout my life i feel like and i, I feel like other i see that other musicians too like they've had that their life and they've grown as a person because of the music you know and I don't know. I feel like everyone should at least play an instrument or like try something musical because you grow as a person, you know? I don't know. Do you feel that same way too? Exactly. You're yeah? speaking truth to everything I'm thinking about. Yeah. Nice. Good. Go ahead. Keep going on this rap. 
No, I mean, that's basically <laughs> it. Like, I feel like everyone should fucking try to... Play an instrument. Yeah. Because, you know, even if you don't have time, the first step is always the hardest. Mm. And taking the time, five minutes a day, you know? Mm. Five minutes a day compounds it fucking in the month. That's five times 30. I didn't do good in math. You do the math. Mm. But, like, that's, a, that's like... That's, uh... Two, two, that's, uh, two hours and 30 minutes. Two hours and 30 minutes. You can learn... Us, you can learn a lot in two, bruh, bruh. It's so easy to learn. It's just the, the, the first step is the hardest to everyone out there. Yeah. Um. But we were kind of talking about instruments and trying to find the time to, you know, with everyone's busy schedule and stuff, and then finding yourself with the music. Because mm-hmm. I definitely, like, without music, dude, I feel like you know, I, it sounds like so cliche. Without music, I wouldn't be here. Yeah. But it's it's just the truth. You know, it's mm-hmm. a it's a outlet a lot of people i feel bad for because they come home they have a rough day and they got no outlet to you know to express themselves or even you know that's why people say write a diary you know fucking go for a run just to kind of um express vent, yourself yeah. express yourself and vent and a, a lot of the time that's what music is for a lot of people mm-hmm. and i'll get home from work have a sad day and i'm like i'm fucking I just need to, like, when I'm making my beats, I'm like, whatever. I'll just ma- I just need a sample, a, ki- a couple, uh, a drum set, a dr- uh, drum pattern, and whatever comes out. And it feels so good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but that's, that's where my music comes from a lot of the time. Frustration and then gripes, <laughs> you know? Mm. It's kind of weird because I don't think I've written, like, a, a positive, happy song in years. Just because, yeah. like, that's, that's, that's what I like to do because, you know... That shit, all that shit, all that happy shit, all that hype shit is already covered by everyone else in the valley. Mm-hmm. So, so, like, uh, just write about what you're going through. Like, that's, it's therapy. And it could be relatable to somebody else, you know? Especially, like, if you go, I feel like the more specific I get with my music topics, the more relatable it is to somebody. Mm-hmm. So, like, if I talk about, like, how fucking work is beating my ass and then I just feel like a fucking machine, you know? It's like, oh, yeah, I feel... Especially, like... Because I show people my music all the time. Mm. Like, maybe a select group of 10 people. <laughs> I'm not trying to be exclusive or anything. It's just those yeah. are the people who, cho- who actually the, take time the, to listen. Mm. Yeah, and then they're like, oh, yeah, this is relatable. I'm like, oh, I thought this was hyper-specific to me. I, I wasn't expecting it to be fucking yeah. relatable. So, yeah, that's another benefit. Fucking unity. Mm. Yeah. No, um, exactly that, bro. I'll when you when you're vulnerable uh, and able to be specific in your lyrics about your specific situation, people notice that and they 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 gravitate towards that. Yeah. And they're like, oh shit! I was like, I was like. Um, they just relate to your situation and, and love how vulnerable you are. Even if they don't relate to it, they can just feel the emotion. And... Yeah, because I mean, everyone's unique, but it's just human experience. It's human fucking emotion. Like, if, 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 if there's other there's other humans <laughs> out there. Obviously, they're gonna relate to it. You know, and it's it's mutually beneficial. I was uh, watching this TikTok video. You know, shout out TikTok. <laughs> And um, this person was saying, "There's billions of people in this in this world, but we always tend to be alone." Yeah, but that's uh, mathematically impossible. Mm-hmm. And so it's 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 weird how we do that as humans. You know, we're not... yeah. We try to think like, "Oh, this is only my struggle," but people share your struggle, man. Yeah, especially like if your struggles are fucking economic or emotional. You know. Everyone can relate to every single thing that you that happens in your life because it's happened to every other person. Yeah, you know, unless it's very specific and fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> but even then, there's people that have that specific fucked up situation, or at least empathy towards it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so, yeah, man, um, I encourage everyone out there, to, you know, to fucking get get yourself a fucking hobby. Get a hobby. Yeah. Get a fucking hobby. Collect some stamps. C- collect some stamps. You know, if, you, if, you, if you're horrible at uh, rapping and you just want to be around music, be a producer or even like a, 
um, setting up microphones, videography, um, audio engineer. There's like so much jobs around music. Like it's not just rap. <laughs> You know, even if you just play the fucking guitar, you can come in and just be hang around. It's, it's such a great environment, and you know, especially with this whole community now, just starting to you know come all together. Yeah, I appreciate that. I feel like you were one of the people that kind of cornerstone that because, mm-hmm. like, I wouldn't have met Jadris, I think, without your lives. I wouldn't have met AJ Raps without your lives. I think mm-hmm. so. Like, I feel like as of late, the music community has gotten more tightly knit, or at least communicate with each other better because mm. everyone used to be so exclusive i remember like oh it's just to the point where i, I haven't even heard and like most of these people until you bought them up mm. or you know their friends who i know bought them up or some shit like that yeah but like yeah i appreciate that as of late like people have been collaborating more and communicating more i feel like that's important you yeah. know especially since fucking Everyone thinks it's, like, them against everybody else, and it's really not. Like, I I used to think about this all the time. Like, I used to feel like, oh, I'm unique, so I can't fuck with anybody. <laughs> but then it's, like, what, from the outside looking in, I'm just another fish, and that person is another fish. Mm. So, like, even if we make different music, we're still artists. Like, mm. we're no different. Yeah. You know? There's and no- that's, 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 yeah, something I think about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no it's um uh, it's it's pretty much it dude fucking yeah no everyone's collaborating now everyone's like i just had Ma- Ma- majin boo over here and yeah no i i was just thinking about it too dude this whole podcasting uh it started maybe like last year and that now it's oh, it's a whole fucking being it's only i've only been doing it for a year mm-hmm. uh, which is crazy but like the progress that it's it's um that it's had is fucking dope like it like i like i read I was supposed to do five interviews this weekend, but I just I'm just doing four. Wow. Yeah. Right. Crazy. And all I did was hit people up, and they fucked with they fucked with me, and and I saw I just saw the vision. I was like twenty minutes. That's perfect. Mm-hmm. I was like, I was that's like, like digestible, bite sized. Bite sized, and then it, means, it leaves you hungry a little more if you stay. You yeah. Know? And so, and then it's every Monday. It's been consistent. It's been sick, bro. But um. Congratulations on the grind. Thank you, my dude. Hell yeah. That's something I need to. Man, the grind, man. It's grind. all right, man. Yeah. Um, I I was in the six month strain of um, of writer's block and you know and um, you know slacking off on editing music videos, music videos that I have for like almost a fucking year. That broken kid video was almost gonna go be a year. We did it in December. Wow. And I look way different. Ag looks different, and and I still have another video that I haven't edited. And from I'm the sorry, album. Uh, oh shit! Scared me. I thought I heard a button. Um, I yeah, heard it too. Fr- yeah, from the button. Um, oh, we good. We good. We good. What was the last or that music video you talking about from the last uh, space the, album? What's yeah, the Broken Kids. Uh, yeah, yeah, anthems. anthems. Yeah, Broken yeah. Kid anthems. Yeah, that those, those. Yeah, I have two videos from there, and we did them in December. And the whole reason I didn't drop the album was because I wanted to get the videos done before the album. Mm-hmm. And then eventually I was like, nah, I'm just going to drop the fucking album. <laughs> yeah. And then the videos just came after. But um, but uh, where was I going with this? Yeah, man. It just takes one step. Like, um, uh, and just trying to, like, all right. I was like, I can't do our podcast. I got to fucking, um, I got to figure out something for my scheduling and stuff. Mm-hmm. So, and then 20 minutes just work. It works for everyone. Yeah. But uh, but no, speaking of 20 minutes, we got to wrap this motherfucker up. It's been 20 minutes? Oh, yeah. It, it oh, was, it has, yeah. Yeah, it's been like 25. Yeah, okay. But uh, no, nah, dude, anything else you want to promote? Any last words? Uh, uh, Listen to local artists. Stop being a little bitch. No one's going to think of, you know, no, everyone needs to support local artists. And no one's going to support you if you don't support other people. Exactly. Bitch. Bitch. Mic drop. <laughs> anyway, brother, appreciate you. Thank you for your time, your energy. You know, Thank you for having me. Hell yeah, bro. Ah, ah, ah. Shout out Induce. <laughs> shout out Induce. Shout, shout out Jadrius. Shout out AG Rap. Shout out fucking me. Shout out everyone who's listening to this. Yes. 
We Thank out. You. Bye. Uh, yeah, I see men fall like leaves. Dumbos grow like seeds. Wow. Good men do bad deeds. Do to all the shit, get shit on like latrines. Go ahead and stand still, but death don't impede. Say fake it till you make it just to succeed. Grind to the bone to get what you need.